Howdy. <coughs> Excuse me. Howdy, your tube. Back in the summer, I took on a project, and it's complete. Actually, it was completed back in June, oh, excuse me, July of 2012. Well, here's the finished product. What I did was add on to my existing deck. Here we go. Now here's the existing. You can see that rail went straight across here to this corner and across here. So I knocked that rail out completely. You can see I put a ramp down here. And of course you can see the 6x6 six six posts. Now those are a beast to get in the air when you're doing it by yourself. I had no help at the time when I was raising the foundation and these were 16 foot when I had to <laughs> raise these into the air and as you can see the corners uh, it's kind of dreary out today you really can't see that well Well, the corners are notched on the posts. I mean, not there. The posts are notched here on both sides you know, to accommodate those cross beams. And down here, I opted for just a heavy rail, one single rail, and not the what you might call the traditional, like this here. Because these are pretty, it's, I mean, this is solid. You lean up against this, you can you can sit on it. It's not going anywhere. Of course, there's the roof. I opted for an angled roof on it. With barn bracing. And everything has what you might call hurricane ties on it. Up there, down here. Back there in the rear. They're even up under here, down here, and let's take a look underneath. Now those uh, concrete posts, they're <clears throat> approximately two and a half, three foot in ground. And as you can see, your 16, I mean six by sixes are sitting on top of that. Now, let's take a look underneath if we can, if it's light enough. Yeah, here we go. You can see I have three. Oh, where did I put those? Are twelves underneath here. So you can see it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. And it's um, basically freestanding, except it's nailed in. I can get under here. It's toe nailed up under here, but it's basically uh, freestanding. It's not attached to the original deck. Well, there you have it. A finished product and it's very nice you can sit under there hear me you know in the rain oh here's something else I did I ran uh, some electric and it's pretty windy out there I ran some electric to it see so I have a light switch here and this is just an additional plug for this bug zapper but the electric runs across up to this light here. And yes, it works. Well, that's 
basically it. Then of course I painted it. You know, I put some uh, weatherproofing on it. It's um, I forget what it's called, Australian timber oil, I believe. It's about three coats on it. I mean, the water beads up on it on this stuff too. It's very nice. It's called Australian timber oil. It costs you a little more, but it's worth it. Well, there you have it.